Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be showing you the difference between reduced by key and group by key in Apache Spark RDD. So, we all are aware that in Apache Spark, both group by key and reduced by key are the transformations that can be used to process and manipulate key value pair RDDs. But they differ in their functionality and performance characteristics. So, in this video, I'll be showing you what are the difference we are having in these two transformations. I have listed down three points in this notepad file. Let's get started. The very first point I have uh, made a comparison on semantics. If we talk about group by key, this transformation group all the values associated with each unique key into a single list. Right? I'll be showing you a demo in a while. But this transformation group all the values associated with each unique key. The way group by uh, works, right? The group by key meaning is like the way group by works in SQL. In the same way, it will be clubbing all the similar things together into a single list. As far as reduced by key is concerned, this transformation groups the value associated with each key and applies a reduction function to combine them into a single value per key. One of the simple use cases, if when we are going for the word count, right? Let's suppose I want to find the frequency of the words in a particular file. I'll be uh, applying reduced by key over there, where uh, means uh, against. Let's suppose I want to count how many times uh, some some word is appearing. Okay, so I'll be applying reduced by key in that case, right? So that I can combine them into a single value per key, like uh, the frequency, right? So. Uh, as far as the group by key is concerned, it always returns the RDD of key iterable value pairs. But in the case of reduced by key, it always returns a RDD of key reduced value pairs. So both are different. So as far as performance is concerned, second point, the group by key, this transformation can be a less efficient in terms of both time and memory usage, right? Especially when you deal with the large data sets or large number of values per key. Why? Because it involves shuffling all the data so that values with the same key end up on same partition, which can be costly in the terms of network and disk I.O. As far as reduced by key is concerned, this is generally more efficient than group by key because it performs a local reduction of values on each partition before shuffling, which significantly reduces the amount of data transferred over the network during the shuffle phase. Let me take some examples so that things will be more clear. I'm having two screenshots with me. First of all, I'll be... Uh, uh, discussing the group by key. In this group by key, let's suppose these are the uh, key value pairs available, right? So as per the definition of group by key, they say that the group by key never ever perform the local aggregation before sending a data over the network. You can see it here, A1, B1, A1 means there are three partitions available and they're showing the data is coming from multiple partitions, but they haven't done the local aggregation, right? You can see this, they haven't uh, reduced this to A comma 2, right? They're still they're showing A1, A1, B1, B1. In this case, A1, all A1s and B1s. So they're not doing the local uh, aggregation uh, like uh, in the case of Apache Hadoop, we have a concept of combiner which do the local aggregation, right? Local computation, okay, local reduction. So that there'll be no overhead on the re reduction step, right? In this case, there's no local uh, aggregation taking place. So it means there'll be a more burden on the network while you are shuffling a data from the one end to other end, right? But in the case of reduced by key, just check it out what is happening. It is performing local aggregation. You can see A1, B1, A1, B1, but here it is reduced to A2, B2 before they shuffle to a uh, to the net over the network, right? This is the performance we are having, we are getting in the, with the case of reduced by key. That's why we always say reduced by key is more efficient than the group by key because they perform the local aggregation before they sh shuffle the data or before they perform data shuffling over the network, right? Coming back to this, uh, what's the use case now? The use case of group by key, use this transformation when you need to keep, when you need to group data by keys and you want to retain all the values associated with each key as an iterable collection. While in the case of reduced by key, uh, we use this transformation when you want to group data by keys and perform an aggregation or reduction operation on the values associated with each key. So we, as I already told you, it's generally more efficient for aggregating data and it's a preferred choice for most key value pair reduction task. Let's take one example so that things will be more clear. I'm having my uh, Apache Spark opened up in the Scala, right? Let's take one example here, a simple example that what's the difference we are getting in the reduced by key and a group by key. First of all, I'll be taking a, uh, I'm creating a RDD. So with the sc.parallelize method, and I'll be taking this in a key value pair. Uh, I'm taking it this in a array and array, uh, I'm taking some key value pairs here. So A1, okay. Uh, I'm just taking it here, first key value pair, A1, 
in the same value in the same way a 2 right and same way I am taking it as b 1 ok and I am same way I am taking it as b 2 ok. So, these are my key value pairs available on which I will be applying my group by key and reduce by key ok it is done. So, in this way ok let me I just forgot uh, uh, this double quotes here ok done. So, already got created now let us apply group by key group by key because it is a transformation I have to call uh, action here which is collect. So, you can see now the result will be displayed here it is coming in the form of this manner what is mean that uh, all the keys against the all the values against the a coming together like 1 2 and uh, against b 1 2 is coming. So, what is compact buffer compact buffer is alternative to the array buffer we all know what is array buffer it is a collection in Apache. Uh, uh, sorry Nascala right and uh, it is alternative it is a more memory efficient than the uh, array buffer right. So, this is how we, the result is coming up that it is showing the all the values against every key in the case of group by key. So, let me now apply the reduce by key on the same RDD. So, in this case I am just changing it to the maybe RDD 2 ok I am just changing it to the RDD 2 this is my second RDD and let us apply reduce by key over there and it is another transformation we are having reduce by key key capital key and I am just going with the reduce by key and dot collect. And you can see answer is coming here a comma 3 and b comma 3. So, over there there uh, it is showing like a a 1 2 means it is showing the values against a, but it is performing the reduction task here. This is how they are different right. I hope from this little video uh, the things are clear that how the reduce by key is different from group by key reduce by key is more efficient than the group by key right. Thanks for watching guys in the next video.